and I have the privilege this afternoon here on the P&O Avia to be entertained by the marvellous, the superb Stephen Ashcroft. Is it Steve or Steve? Steve. Steve. Unless I'm in trouble. Steve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, with the missus. With yes, the missus. Steve. Steve Ashcroft. Um, part of the Magic Circle as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, associate member of the Inner Magic Circle to be precise, but yeah, a member of the Magic Circle very proudly. Had to do an exam and stuff. Brilliant. Uh, brilliant thing to do. So you talk about an exam for the Inner Magic Circle. Well, it's, it's an exam for the circle. Circle. You, yeah, you've got to, um, you, you'll apply to become a member, um, and I advise anybody who's got an interest in magic to do that. It's open to anyone to, to, to go and do that. Um, you'll you'll get the chance to sit an exam. You can either do a written exam or a performance-based exam. I chose to do a performance-based exam, and it's only through doing a performance-based exam you do get the opportunity to be awarded the degree of associate member of the Magic Circle. Wow. So it's like a, it's just it's, it's just a nice pat on the back, really. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I get a silver badge instead of a blue one. Which I haven't got on today, I think I've lost it. It's on my other jacket. Uh, but yeah, it's all one of the better things I ever did, that very proud moment. And is it like a, a, a membership that you got, like pay a, an annual fee? Or yeah, there's an like annual that? fee, but I mean, what you get in return for that fee far outweighs the fee. You get access to lots of tutorials, interviews, oh, wow. and um, a wealth of knowledge. Plus, you, plus the, 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 kin, the kindredship, is that, is that even a word? Am I making that up? I think you, know, you get what I mean. Word, yeah, that word works a lot, there's a, a lot of friends, you know what I mean? Uh, it, the magic community is not a massive community, but uh, there's a lot of nice people in it, and you get the privilege to meet them, chat with them, talk wow. magic, learn magic. It's just, uh, just a brilliant organisation, but it has been so far for me anyway. Yeah, yeah. So let's go all the way back. Um, when did you first get this interest for magic? <laughs> and how did it come I'd about? I'd love to say I was a kid watching Paul Daniels, that's what oh, most people say, but I wasn't. It wasn't oh. That wasn't the case. I was in my 30s before I got interested in magic. No way. Um, but leading up to that, um, I spent many years working on the fairground, um, con games and such like. Yeah. Um, I got quite good at that, so the verbal side of magic I'm all right with. And then I just discovered, I, I saw a magic show in Florida on holiday one year. Um, I was hooked, exited through a gift shop, bags full of magic, practiced, wow. um, took it up as a hobby. Got my first job by accident working as a jester in a castle in North Wales. Um, and then it just went on from there, started to do weddings, started to do corporate stuff. Covid's been good to me because that's how I got on cruise ships. Um, I'm assuming we're going to get to cruise ships, so I might as well yeah. jump straight to it. Yeah. My agent got in touch and said somebody's been in touch and need a magician to fill in because somebody's cried off with Covid. Oh, so right. I got my first job for P&O on Iona, um, Norwegian Fjords, and it was brilliant. We're just doing close up. Yeah, it was, I'm, I'm probably one of the men, one of the few that, that are quite thankful to COVID. If it wasn't for COVID, I wouldn't be doing magic full time. Uh, but because of that, I, I was furloughed like everybody was from my daytime job. I was a salesman at the time, and then they eventually made me redundant. And my wife, bless her, um, she insisted I give magic a go full time. You know, you're not going to get another chance, so I did. And it's just, oh yeah, without a doubt. And I mean, I do miss her terribly when I'm on ships. Um, but she's joining me tomorrow. As I've said, so fantastic. I've got a smile on my face. She's coming out for two weeks, so that's going to be great. Fun. That's going to be great. Fun. She gets to see my show. She's never seen my show. She's seen me do this. Yeah. She's never seen the show. So, so you're, just talk us through a typical working day for you. How would that unfold? Well, yeah, well, you'll, you'll get on a ship. Um, you'll usually get a welcome package. In. This is most guest entertainers. Um, certainly me. You'll get a welcome package on your bed. It'll give you all the contacts for the entertainment team. You'll get a sheet with um, like a time table so for me for example on on Arvia at the minute I do two shows on the embar embarkation night can I ever said that yeah, right yeah, the night we leave I'll yeah. we'll speak English on the night we leave I do two shows in the headliners theatre nice. and then the rest of the two weeks I spend doing close-up I 
do three hours a day. Um, on a sea day, I do it through the day, like I am doing today. Yeah. Um, and on a port day, I do seven till ten on the evening. So you mentioned that your first day, you know, when people get onto the ship, that you do the theatre. Yeah. You also do close up what yep. you're doing now. Yep. Um, how does that differ? Do you find it? Oh, it's so much different. It's so much different. But I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a stage magician by any stretch of the imagination. But I'd see this as an opportunity to. I'm up in my game to do that and to be allowed to perform in the headliners theatre is a real honour. You know, do you know what I mean? For yeah. Me, it's, yeah. Um, it's a big, so, big venue. So it's a work in progress. Yeah. My show will be better next time. It'll be better every time I do it. But at heart, I'm a close-up magician. But to try and do close-up magic on the stage to a thousand people loses mm. that. You know, can I borrow Intimacy. your ring and it vanishes? It, it's not yeah. got that. So it's a, it's a different. It's a different. But it's like it's like saying um, you know you can have house builders. But you, it's like asking a plumber to do your electrics. No, he's a plumber. It's yeah. the same with magic. You've got magic, but you've got stage magic. You've got mentalism. You've got close-up magic. There's all different aspects of magic. So to be allowed to have a go at the stage is really. I'm grabbing it with both hands and loving it. If I'm honest, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really no. enjoying it. But I prefer the close-up. And you also we, we came along to one of your classes, yeah, workshops. workshops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so you teach the children and yeah, give yeah. them a little bit of an insight. Yeah, we don't give away too many secrets because you can't. Um, but yeah, and, and it's so rewarding. Uh, even now, I still get videos sent to me from cruises from last year, and it'll be some parents have sent me a video of their kid who's just been practicing something. Wow. I've had one of them who's currently a member of the Young Magicians Club at the Magic Circle, so she went on to join that. Um, wow. Which again, to think that I was a part of that, yeah, so rewarding. You know, she yeah. might be on the TV in ten years' time and mention me. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know, but you, you do. You, you, you see some kids and they've got a real knack for it and a real, you know what I mean? They've got to take to it like ducks to water. Um, but when I do my workshops, I don't, I don't give away secrets, but I like to talk about the, the practical side of magic and the, you know, explain a few, a few of the moves. We teach them a couple of simple tricks, but the kids seem to love it. They do one here anyway. Um, and yeah, would you say fun. that magic is accessible to anyone, anyone of any age? Anyone at any age. I was in my 30s before I started, and I'm now travelling the world on a cruise ship. Yeah. So when I think, it blows my mind. If I'd, if I'd have been into it when I was eight, like most magicians, what could I be doing now? I could, yeah. I could be on the Vegas Strip. Yeah. I'm not saying I would, or I'd ever be good enough. You still could be in the future. Yeah, well, uh, I'm quite happy with cruise ships. I mean, yeah. This is, for me, uh, and, uh, and it's only my opinion, and I know everyone's got their opinion, but my, in my opinion, for me, this is as good as it gets cruise ships. Weddings, I love doing weddings, but cruise ships is like the top of my game now. Yeah. The next step will be TV, which I've not, I'm, I've not, I've got no aspirations to be on telly. I'm quite happy doing cruise ships and I still pinch myself now. I mean, they flew me out to Barbados in December. How does that, how's that, you know what I mean? I was working on a fairground in North Wales and, 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 and pinching myself waking up in a, in a hotel on a beach in, in Barbados. Yeah, it's like, really? a little bit different, isn't it? Oh, a just bit a bit, just yeah, a bit. But yeah, it's a fantastic life and it's, and it's good for anybody because even people that are maybe a bit older in, in life, it's yeah. not too late to get into it because you don't have to be um, that dexterous with your hands, there's other forms of magic, there's the, there's the mind reading stuff you can learn and that kind of, so there's, yeah, if, if anyone's got an interest in magic, I just, it's the best hobby in the world and it has been for me, it's been so good to me, so good to me. That's, that's, that's great too. And I'm always yeah. learning. Yeah. I'm always you learning. You can't get bored. And make it into yeah, your business, yeah, yeah. And make it into your life. Oh, I've got books with me. And also something that you, look, so what sort of things do you get up to in your spare time? I know you don't get a lot of it because you work really hard on the ship, well, as does everybody else. It's, uh, and they do as well on here to be fair. The staff are fantastic, yeah. they don't stop. Um, I'm usually tweaking my show, um, you know, making notes. I go and see as many shows as I can, regardless of what the shows are, because you yeah, pick up the support to Yeah, and, and, and you, not that you steal bits, but you might think, oh, that lighting look good on there, and that, you know, and it just gets you yeah. thinking about your own show, your production-wise. Um, but as it, the strange thing is, I've, and I've noticed this, I've met a few singers on cruise ships, and they're great. They, they are fantastic, and I'm friends with some of them. And if they were to walk through the ship, somebody might stop them and say, I saw your show, it was great. And yeah. it ends there. If you're a magician, it doesn't end there. No. I saw your show, it was great. <laughs> show me a trick. Yeah. So you're always working. That was the first thing I learned doing cruise ship 
coach is you, you are always working because you can't say no these guys are on their holiday yeah they paid big bucks to come onto a ship and be entertained so even though I'm not working if I'm not working <laughs> and I mean most magicians will always have something on them anyway yeah. so I'm always practicing I'm always doing something um, so yeah you just got to be so prepared if you see him and you are on you know either the Iona or yeah. the RV or whatever ship you know you can grab him because he'll yeah. have something a little trick up his sleeve yeah. for you it's now talking the tricks up your sleeve it wouldn't be a proper interview with a magician a marvellous magician like yourself without seeing one or two little tricks right so, here uh, we go what have you got here for we me, go. Steve? take one of those any card any card any whatsoever any one of them. ok I'm going to go for that one because that one was hiding and these, these are all different they're not a special they do have special decks of cards like show Sarah yes yeah, show Sarah in the camera there we go I'm looking away wow there we are face it face down on top of there for me ok so that goes back in face down I'll just remind yeah. myself well last chance if you want to just look at it there you yep. go so you won't forget because some people do forget and then you're ruining the trick I know we don't want that do we, we don't want that <laughs> right have you ever done magic I um, I'm not really I used to go to little joke shops years ago and buy little like oh, magic yeah, tricks yeah 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 well it's, it's they were like, about 10p back then yeah yeah <laughs> well, he is going back he is going back well if you blow on this deck of cards and watch the deck yeah. the card's going to rise out the middle blow watch it was a long time ago when you did magic, wasn't it? It's supposed to rise out the middle nice and slowly like that. Oh, right, okay. I didn't say that was it, by the way. You don't have no. to pull a face like that. I'm just, okay. I was just telling you what was supposed to happen. Your card has actually gone. It went up around the atrium and landed underneath that card box. What? <laughs> no way. Yeah, that wow. was definitely my card and it ended. That's yes. much. Write your name on it. Just in case you think there's two of them, write your name all over that card. Big letters on the face should of that card. Damage oh, I'll go through loads of it. I should have shares in bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Big letters. There we go. To make it a little bit heavier and a little bit more unique, I'm going right. to put my name on it so you'll stick this on your hey. get to keep this. Souvenir. You can stick Ooh, it on your fridge. Yeah. That'll be your lucky card. Now this card is heavier than when it started, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Because there's extra ink on it, Thank both you. our names, and it is a permanent marker. Alright. Okay. Right. Now a lot of magicians, and I've seen them, they're great, they rely on sleight of hand and very technical and the laziest magician in the world. <laughs> See it hanging out the middle there, all that extra ink on it. Yeah. All I've got to do is that, that's the move. Gravity, underestimated gravity in magic, because if you leave it there long enough it falls through wow. and lands on the top. <laughs> I'll show you again, look. You see it go all the way in. Yeah. This time we'll do it face up and you'll see it come up through the deck as I do this. Did you see it land? Ah, that might be camera shy, I suppose. Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm just making it up now. <laughs> we'll sort it out. On the count of three, shout change. One, two, three. Change. <gasps> no. <laughs> Try again. Ian. Oh, wow. If I take it off, hold Into your hand out. I'm going to show you Let how me. this works, right? You'll see it clearly now. You're going to see it jump up through them two cards. I push it in and watch, and it'll land under my thumb right on the top. Did you see it? A little fluctuation. Panic for a minute, then. You know what? It's, it's all right. I cut the deck, didn't I? Yeah. And so yeah. you've got the top. Yeah. It always lands on the top. <laughs> you, <have it. laughs> you get to keep that. Jeez, You've ruined it. Here from Super Steve. Permanent market. Steve for Ashcroft. Wow. Steve. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you guys. I want to say a huge, you fantastic. No, it's been, my you know, kids are going to be green when they, when they see this. Seriously, because like they watch all the videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure. So there you go, guys. If you're ever on board with this magnificent magician, Stephen Ashcroft. Steve Ashcroft. Call him Steve. First Steve. Yeah, I'm I um, offended you and I'm Come and say and hi, <laughs> you know, one not to be missed, an absolute diamond and um, You're a good once man. again a huge thank you. Thank you guys, thank you. Enjoy, you, enjoy your journey home and hopefully we'll cross paths again. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to go and see the rest of my waiting audience. Let's do it. And I've got a souvenir. Yeah, he's got a souvenir. Thanks, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that was a bro. Fantastic. Travel.